Hello everyone, my name is Cammie. Welcome to my channel, Key to Disney and Fragrance. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so, so much for coming back. On my channel, we do mainly Bath and Body Works content, which is a sprinkle of Disney. But in today's video, we have my September empties. I'm so excited to show you guys my empties and talk about the products. We have my Bath and Body Works bag. I'm gonna be honest, didn't do that great this month. And then we have my non-Bath and Body Works products, which I feel like I used a good chunk of my non-Bath and Body Works products. But if you guys like Bath and Body Works content, you're just stumbling upon my channel. I would appreciate it if you consider hitting that subscribe button because we're kind of getting close to 3,000 subscribers and I will definitely do a giveaway when we get to 3,000 subscribers. But anyways, let's get into the empties. I have a lot of stuff to show you. So I don't want to waste too much of your time. The first thing we have is a makeup product. This is the e.l.f. Powder Camo Foundation. I really, really liked this. I used up every last drop. This was super, super nice. I use this as like a finishing powder or not like an actual powder foundation. But it was really, really nice. And I have to get a new one. I did get the shade Fair 120N, which I feel like was a little bit light for me. So maybe I will deepen it up next time. But this was very, very nice. And I have seen it at TJ Maxx. So I didn't buy it from TJ Maxx. I bought it from Walmart. But maybe I will grab it the next time I can find it at TJ Maxx. The next thing I used up is the Better Homes and Gardens Vanilla and Cookie Crunch. This was nice. It's definitely a gourmand scent. It's shortbread cookie buttercream and vanilla. It was very, very strong, which was nice, um, but it was more like a shortbread sweet kind of a scent, which is pretty nice. Um, but I won't repurchase this again because I have so many wax melts I need to use up. The next thing I used up is very old. Please don't tell me when this came out. Um, I probably shouldn't have been using it, but this is the Tarte Micellar Magic. This is a mess-free, no-rinse micellar cleansing water that you put on a um, like cotton, uh, cotton pad and it takes off your makeup. Not a fan. It made my skin feel super, super oily and super greasy. Um, so yeah, not a huge fan of this. So I probably won't repurchase that. Well, actually I got this in a boxy term. So it was, yeah, I guess I did kind of purchase it, I guess, because I bought the subscription, but it wasn't something I picked out and I definitely won't buy it again. The next thing I used up is the Sensodyne Extra Whitening Toothpaste. This is the only toothpaste in the entire universe that I have tried. That does not make my teeth feel sensitive. So um, I will 100% repurchase this and I just bought it in a three pack. So I love that toothpaste. Something I won't repurchase and I wish I tried before I bought so many of them. This is the strawberry bath jelly um, from Mad Beauty. It was in the scent strawberry. Um, I got these from Marshalls for like $4. So it's not the end of the world, but I thought these were going to be like the lush ones where you take it, you suds it up, and then you can like rub it on your body. But this just like fell apart into a crumbly mess. This was horrible. Honestly, I don't know. If I'm using these wrong, please let me know if there's a better way to use these. But I don't know. Probably won't repurchase these again. But unfortunately, I do have a few of them in my collection. I think I have like five that I need to use up, unfortunately. We have a used up mascara. This is the Essence Mascara. I've been holding on to this forever. This had like one use left in it. Um, You can't even read it anymore, but it was the Snow White version. And it was so cute. It was a Disney princess version, but this thing is dry. There is nothing left in here. I have probably three more of these that are like half used up because I bought a bunch of them at once during Black Friday and I've just been using every single one of them. Instead of dedicating myself to one, I've been using all of them. So all of them are like half used, but I did finish that up. I also finished this Equate Beauty um, nail polish remover. This was really nice. You opened up the lid like this and it like pumped up and you put your cotton pad on it. Very nice, worked great to remove my nail polish. I used up one tree hut item. This is the Tunisian vanilla bean body scrub. I did get this from TJ Maxx for $5.99 pretty recently. This was definitely like a spa vanilla, but the tree hut scrubs are amazing. I will definitely repurchase the body scrubs from tree hut in the future. Maybe not that specific scent because it was like super like spa like to me. I finished burning a 
um, Explore America candle from Walmart. This one was great. This one was actually really great. Um, very strong. It was a bergamot kind of like, like kind of a spicy scent a little bit, like more earthy. That's the word, not spicy, earthy. It was more of an earthy scent, but it wasn't bad at all. I actually really enjoyed it. And this was a dollar on hidden clearance. Even though it says $5, my mom found it on clearance for a dollar. And then last but not least, I did finish burning up the Honey Glazed Pear Cider. This is the most impressive Aldi candle I've ever tried. It burned great, not dirty, super strong pear, spicy cider, honey scent. So, so good. This was a 10 out of 10. So that was everything I used up that was non-Bath & Body Works. So I used up a good bit. It's always exciting to use up like a makeup product because I don't use up a ton of makeup. So that was fun. So that was all my non-Bath & Body Works stuff. Now moving into the part you guys are all probably waiting for, the Bath & Body Works portion. Okay, so let's get started. We have a hand soap that my parents used up in their bathroom. This is Sunshine and Lemons. This is Yuzu, Grapefruit and Sunrise. My mom loves that scent, so we would repurchase. And the next one I used up was in my bathroom, and this is the pumpkin apple hand soap. This is Red Delicious Apples, Fall Pumpkin, and Clove Buds. I would 100% repurchase this again. Pumpkin apple is definitely a fall staple. I used up a shower gel in Golden Clementine and Amber. This is Juicy Citrus, Sparkling Pomegranate, and Warm Amber. This is what it looks like. I used up pretty much the entire thing. This was so good. This was so good. They need to bring this back. Super, super good. It's more definitely more of like a fruity scent, but very nice. In our main bathroom downstairs, we used up an aromatherapy rose vanilla. Again, this is rose oil and vanilla extract. Very nice aromatherapy scent. I would definitely repurchase. The next one is my finicky one. This is the Marshmallow Fireside. I barely had any left. And this was Toasted Marshmallow Smoldering Woods in Fire Roasted Vanilla. The pump was actually broken, so it was just spewing out liquid everywhere. So that was fun. Um, but Marshmallow Fireside is just really a great scent. The next one we have is Smoked Old Fashioned in the shower gel. My boyfriend used this up. There are no scent notes on this one, unfortunately, but I really enjoyed this scent on him. I couldn't tell you what it smells like, but it smells good. That's all I know. So really enjoyed this one on my boyfriend and he liked that one as well. My boyfriend's not very picky. If whatever scent I buy him, he'll use, which is awesome. Um, the next one we have is Autumn S'mores. This is one of my favorite, favorite soap scents. This is crisp apple, gooey marshmallow, and cinnamon spice. This one's pretty much full when I started it. This is definitely a s'mores apple scent, like a gourmand s'mores caramel apple it's so good it is so so good it's definitely more on a gourmand sweet side so i would 100 percent repurchase okay we have let me see here okay we have five hand sanitizers four that i used up and one that my mom used up so she used up the rose water and ivy um there were no complaints so i think she liked it which is good so I think we'd buy that again. And then we have the Honeysuckle and Peach Spritz. I don't know. Did I use this one up or did my mom use this one up? I can't remember. There's no lines on it. Yeah, honestly, I don't know who used this up, but it smells good. And then these three I know for sure I used up. Um, we have Champagne Apple and Honey. This one is was about halfway, so I used half of it this month. Nothing to say about champagne apple and honey. That is a great scent. Then we have afternoon apple picking. You guys know I love a good apple scent. So this was an A plus from me. Oops, wrong side. There is the progress I made. The next one I used up is white pumpkin. This one was super good too. This was a fall like really spicy pumpkin scent. Very nice and I would repurchase. Sorry if this video is a little bit shorter. I don't I don't know if I'm not talking that much about it or if it's really I didn't use up that many products this month. Um, but the next one we have is black cherry merlot in the shower gel. This is dark cherry, black raspberry, and sumptuous merlot. This one was very nice as well. Um, I know the scent's out right now, so I think it's great in the shower gel. And I would probably repurchase it if I found it at some annual sale. The next thing I used up, absolutely love. This is the Fall and Bloom Moisturizing Body Wash. This is Juicy Plum, Wild Blooms, and Velvet Moss. This was a deep, 
a deep plum note super yummy and great in the shower and i'm actually now adding in the um cleansing bar into my shower right now so i'm excited to use that up i did finally finish a sunshine mimosa cleansing bar although i have some disappointing news this was bad this was so bad this didn't smell like anything it just was a bar of soap so unfortunately i probably would not buy sunshine mimosa again in the bar of soap i did finish up another thing of the moxie gummies these are great You'll see these every month because it's a 30-day supply. These are really, really great. They help me fall asleep super fast. And they're super affordable at 75% off. They're like under $5, which is a really great deal. But the unfortunate thing is I went to my outlet, sold out. They don't have them anymore, which makes me so sad. So we have the Moxie Gummies. I think I have three more packages left. So maybe they'll have more like at some annual sale. Oh. This wallflower. I don't want to tell you about it. It's the worst wallflower I've had in my entire life. I got this at the outlet for a dollar. I understand why it was a dollar. It was horrible. This was cozy getaway. It smelled good for like 30 seconds. Um, this is black tea. Sorry, I'm being very harsh. But this is black tea leaves, cedar embers, and cashmere blanket. It smelled like nothing. At first, I was getting like a little bit of a cashmere, like deep vibe. And then after that, five minutes, gone. So do not buy that. If you had a better experience with that one, let me know. This one, on the other hand, is Thanks and Giving. Um, I did take it out a little early because it stopped smelling um, a few days ago. So I did take it out a little early. Well, this is Juicy Red Apple, Gooey Caramel, and Praline Pieces. This was very, very strong. A very strong, like, caramel, apple, gooey, gourmand scent. And it was very strong for about two and a half weeks. At that two and a half week point, maybe three week point, I did pull it out because it stopped smelling completely. But it was very good while it lasted. I did finish up, you know, I did not finish up very much body care other than shower products. I think this is the only non-shower body care product that I finished up. Yikes. This is Twilight Woods, a hand cream. Nothing to say about it, but wow, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Oops. But it smells good. Yeah, I didn't finish up any body care products. I am close to finishing a few products, though. Um, once you guys see my project, use it up. Update, you guys will be able to tell. I'm very close to finishing up a, a few products, at least. Another shower product, we have the Fall and Bloom Shower Gel. Another great scent. This is more of like a deep plum. Very nice. And then I only finished up two lone candles. And one of these, my mom finished up. Wow, I did very bad this month. Oops, this is fresh sheets. She put this like in our very open, like living room, kitchen um, area. And this was very strong, like very, very strong. I could smell it upstairs. This is crisp citrus, clean lavender, and watery apple. Would 100% repurchase. And then last but not least, another repurchase is banana bun cake. This was so strong. I finished it up pretty recently. Very, very strong. This is, let's see here, sweet banana, toasted walnut, and fresh cinnamon. So good. 100 out of 10. If you want to trick people into thinking that you are baking a delicious banana bread, throw this candle on and everyone will think you are making banana bread. It's so good and very, very strong. Definitely a high thrower as well as this one. But that is all for my empties for the month of September. I did not do very good. So I'm sorry to disappoint. I promise my October empties should be a little bit better. I have not done my spreadsheet yet. But I will throw it up on the screen now. I'm assuming I'm in the 20s. As long as I'm over 20, I am okay. But yeah, I didn't use up too much this month. I don't know why that is. I guess I just didn't feel like using up my products, I guess. So I did. I use, I have a good amount of progress on some other body care items. And I have a couple candles that are like two burns away. And I am ending the project a little bit early for the month of September. I am filming this on the 29th, so I do have a couple more days, but I just wanted to film this video and get it out to you guys on Monday, because it's Friday and this video will go up on Monday. But I hope you guys enjoyed my empties, even though it was a little shorter and a little disappointing. But if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know what items you used up in the month of september and if you like seeing my face disney or bath and body works content make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button because it's free to you helps me out so so much and you guys can always change your mind later thanks again you guys for watching today's video and i'll see you in the next one bye